Hi, there has been a development. <laughs> okay, remember this? <gasps> Come through, Karen. I'm so excited. This is like a dream. I know. <laughs> yes, I was so freaking hoping this one would be a, a hit. I just always wanted this hair. So excited. I hope we come out with more colors of these and then I want them all. <laughs> Ho 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 ho, past Alexa, guess what? Wish granted. Brand new colors of the Karen wig style. Wish freaking granted, man. Wait, imagine if like, what if, what if I had like a, a, like a magic lamp and I didn't know that I had three wishes and I just used one. More colors of the Karen wig. <laughs> Fixing all of the problems in the world. Nah, we have new colors of the Karen wig. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll have to wait. Oh my god, I'm so excited. First, we do have a featured patron. Oh my god, I don't even have my little cauldron. One moment. We do have a featured patron today, and that featured patron is. I gotta dig deep in there. I'm gonna get one from the bottom. Let's see who do we have here. Samantha R. Samantha. Samantha, are you ready to transform into the coolest, coolest version of yourself? Because that's what the Karen wig does. It makes you cool, which you don't even need, Samantha, because you're already so, so cool. Thank you so much for your support over on Patreon. You're an amazing pal. Thank you, Samantha. Okay, so, right. Since our last I'm Style video where my life was blessed with this little blonde cutesy 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 adorable wig this has quickly taken over uh my life <laughs> this is like my most worn wig like easily it has quickly quickly become my number one like reach for this wig i have it like up on my shelf and if i'm like getting ready i'll just like grab it pop it on my head because i am always in the mood for it sometimes if i want to do like a crazy colorful like big curly <laughs> rainbow number. I'm not always in the mood for that, but I am always in the mood for this wig. I think another reason that I'm like always in the mood to wear this wig is because it looks particularly good on like days that I don't feel like wearing makeup or like I don't have a lot of makeup on. This wig still goes like super, super well on those days. I definitely have wigs. This is by no means me trying to say that you have to wear makeup to wear wigs. Like absolutely not. <laughs> wear them however you want. I mean that I have wigs personally that I prefer to wear them with like a dramatic makeup or like a coordinating makeup look. I just feel more comfortable in the wig with like lashes, you know? I, I just prefer to wear them that way. However, this wig, this is like my everyday, no makeup, pop it on, always in the mood wig, this blonde Karen wig from I'm Style. Okay, so let me tell you a tale then, okay? <laughs> you may recall in the last video I discovered, I noticed that there was a red version of the Karen wig. Now I need more colors of this. Okay, hold on. <gasps> they also have it in red. <clears throat> I was like, I need it. <laughs> well, I got it. And it's was not the same as this blood one. Actually, let me get it. Hold on. I'm prepared. Hold on. If you'll recall, my favorite things about this little blonde Karen wig, my little e-boy, everyday, like, choppy, cute, ashy blonde wig, my favorite things about it were these roots, which look freaking amazing, so good and so natural. And that is like generally a pretty flat wig. Like it doesn't stick too far off the back of my head here. It doesn't poof up really tall when I put it on. It just looks pretty freaking natural. It's like one of the most natural wigs that I think I have, which is really, really saying something because I have like a heck of a million wigs. So enter the red Karen wig. <laughs> I was so excited here. Let me pop it on for you. We're like so deep in this already. And like none of these are the wigs that we're even talking about today. This here is the red Karen wig. And you can see like slightly different vibes, right? Like it's a lot fuller, right? So it has a little bit more of that poof. The other thing that I love so much about the blonde wood was the dark roots. And as you can see, this one does not share the roots 
of this trusty, trusty blonde here. For me, I would grab this blonde one over the red one like a hundred times out of a hundred times. <laughs> like even if you just kind of like hold them like this and give them a little squish, this one's much thicker than this one. Which leads me into today's investigation. See how this one, like just as soon as I put it on, so much more natural. <laughs> like way beyond besides the color right like obviously blonde's more natural than like hot red but it just it feels like a different wig right like a different style right technically they're both Karen so that really super long-winded introduction Samantha <laughs> leads me into today's investigation there are five new colors of the Karen wig are they like our blonde wig or are they like the red one or are they like something completely new? <laughs> We're about to find out. My fingers are so crossed for these, you guys. My hoes are so high for these. <laughs> I really hope that they're like perfect. Okay, okay, I'm style. Which one do we start with? I'll just, oh, I guess we're starting with this one. <laughs> I don't even really remember the colors of, whoa, okay. Oh, this looks fun and exciting. Look at it just through the back. Ooh, it looks, oh my God, okay. Like in my last video, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Um, We made like a 5,000 autumnal outfits, even though it is June, <laughs> it is summertime. This looks like the literal color palette from my last video. Okay, okay, first impressions, it's, it's super pumpkin-y and fall -y and autumnal and copper and beautiful and amazing. But beyond that, it feels like the blonde one i i <laughs> it feels like it's gonna fit like this one which oh my god okay <sighs> okay wait hold on girl we should not be sighing a sigh of relief until this is on my head but i am feeling good hopeful <laughs> okay this wig is like a coppery orange oh, i love copper hair and in the bangs here, we have a blend of, here, I'll try to separate it out so you can see it a little bit better. It's like, uh, so we have, obviously we have our copper, we have a yellow mixed in here, we have a blue mixed in here. I don't think that there's green mixed in, but the yellow and blue next to each other kind of mixing together. Green, that's how you make green. <laughs> like the one on my head, it does not have any combs or clips in here it does have an adjustable um band on the back i need to tighten this down a little more it feels a little bit big all right first observation right off the bat this one the cap itself feels bigger than the blonde one so this one is something <laughs> slightly different oh my god i'm so glad we do reviews here look at these little colors these are so fun though oh it feels very and leaves on the ground like just like sprinkled all over the street is like making me want to get like a blankie and like some apple hot apple cider <laughs> I long for fall if you can't tell oh wait interesting we have a discovery okay interesting so pocket right here you see how it's like lifting up right here I've actually never seen a wig do that before but I can tell you what it is it is because this cap is noticeably bigger than the blonde one I had to I had to like tighten it down so much yeah I can show you where I have hooked it in order for it to fit my head I have it hooked there so if you weren't really sure how these straps work as far as sizing caps Basically, you can hook these two little straps into this little band that's on the back, and it works kind of like a like a belt. If you were wearing a belt on pants, it essentially like makes the cap the size of this part where the straps are versus if we didn't have these hooked on. And the cap is just like its full maximum size like that. Because this cap is so much bigger than the blonde one, I have to tighten it down quite a bit. And I think what's happening is these little pockets here that are created by tightening the cap down with the straps are what's like bubbling out by my neck. Like normally that wouldn't be an issue with most styles, but because this is meant to sit so flat on your head, look at it, yeah. It's like, 
I'm doing like a heckin' bubble. And I can also feel extra cap space up here. Now this is not necessarily a bad thing. Thing. I definitely saw people in the last video who were like wanting the Karen who love that Karen wig But I specifically mentioned that it was pretty small like it was a small little wig So if you have a bigger like head size, it might not fit So I am guessing that they have made this cap larger to fit more heads <laughs> <laughs> to fit more head sizes, right? Because you can always make it smaller, but it's harder to make the cap bigger. I think my takeaway from this one is just that it doesn't fit me as well as the blonde one does. It's like the base of it. The cap of it is bigger. However, the hair like density itself is not as fluffy as the red one. So it's like, if I had a bigger head, this would probably fit me the way the blonde one does, which is great. That is what we love. <laughs> I wonder if I unhook it so it doesn't have the little scrunchy scrunch, but it sits flatter there on my neck. Now it's way loose on my head, so if I, see that's already so much cuter, isn't it? That's so much cuter. Oh, I wish, <laughs> I wish it was smaller for me personally. See, that looks so cute. Now I probably wouldn't want to like do jumping jacks in this or make fly off my head. Don't worry, that's never a concern. I'm never gonna do jumping jacks. <laughs> See, that's cute! Dang, that's cute! Okay, so my solution to the cap size problem is going to be, I think, to throw a hat on so that it holds the wig in place without scrunching the back. Let me grab a hat and see if that solves all of our problems of our little autumnal little pumpkin boy. Let's find out. Okay, this is so cute. <laughs> All right, so this one, the hat holds it in place, but, 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 this hat, it, it covers up so much of the wig. It kind of like takes away from the wig because it covers so much of it up. So I think I'm gonna grab a different kind of hat. Okay, okay, I think we've solved our problem, my friends. Okay, so I think moving forward, if I wanna wear my little fall, autumn, pumpkin, ghosty, Halloween e-boy wig, I think I'll probably just wear it with like a little backwards hat like that. You get the color blend. This issue is solved. The hat is gonna hold it so it doesn't really matter that it's a little bit too big for me. Because the blend isn't all the way throughout, it's like literally just the bangs up here, and the back here is like solid orange, I kind of wish the blend went all throughout, but with our little hat solution, it also covers up the solid orange back here. So I'm pretty sure if I'm gonna wear this wig, that's probably how I'm gonna wear it. This has fully raised more questions for me. And it's option number three. It's not like the blonde or like the red. It's its own thing. It's a new thing. So what does that mean for all of these? I love wig reviews. This is so fun. Okay, which one do you want to do next? Here, we'll go. There we go. <laughs> this one's next. What do we have next here? My wish is for you. Wait, what? Is this the blonde one again? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. You guys saw that before I did. <laughs> There's purple in here from this side, like legit, just looks like the blonde one. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Well then, let's take a little look-see at this. Well, this is cute. Okay, fascinating. It feels fluffy, like the red one. This is like a, what's the, the gambling game? Like, it's like a circle and it goes around and can land on anything. That's what I feel like this, this Karen collection is. Like, they're all different. Okay, so here is a fun little blonde one with purple in the front, like purple little bangs in the front. That's so fun. Oh, and it goes down the side too. Okay, adorable. This takes me back to like my scene emo days where my bangs were like totally a different color than my hair. I have black hair and like hot pink bangs. That's probably a surprise to literally no one. Look at this. Look how the purple fades in. It goes dark roots. Okay, that's promising. They're not as dark as the roots from this blonde one. But they are darker. There is a, a gradient of fade there, which is good. That's a good thing. So it goes from a dark root to a blonde color to a brown here in the back. But the front here 
see that it goes dark root to a little bit of blonde into the purple. So like that fade is very like seamless. It looks like you've dyed your, your bangs a, a, like a nice lavender purpley color, but they've grown out a little bit. So <laughs> that actually like adds to the realism to me like a lot. I really love that. I am full of question marks here for the old Karen wigs today. This one is so big on me, it just fully came off with my hat. <laughs> is this one the same cap size as this one? We're gonna find out. So many questions. Okay. <laughs> I just on my head like that. I'm I'm kind of lost here in the <laughs> I'm I'm lost here in all of the hair. I feel like this one's bangs are longer. Is that true? Yeah, I mean look at this. This is like a real face framer here. This this piece goes all the way down. I feel like on the other ones they're kind of like Right there? Is that? Is this a different style? <laughs> Good news is this one's cap is back to the same size as the blonde Karen. I don't have the little straps hooked or anything and you can see it's like nice and flat back here on the back of my head. Now, this is interesting because I feel like this part is definitely longer than it is on the other wigs. Why? Why though? <laughs> I wonder if we kind of just play with the style of it a little bit. I feel like this one can get dangerously close to an actual Karen wig. I know we've joked about this <laughs> collection being called Karen, as in like, you know, soccer mom Karen, because the, like the blonde one, our little e-boy wig is definitely not a Karen hairstyle. This one, I feel like it could, it could be. This one, I feel like could fall into that territory if you're not careful. <laughs> However, if we're gonna kind of style it a little bit, okay, see, like that. Oh, like that is so cute. <laughs> this one, okay, you just gotta want it. Pull these forward, channeling scene days. Kind of brush this over a little. Maybe we could like kind of floof it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, okay, I like this one. This one, okay, it is kind of, again, anomalous among this collection. Although, if every single one is different, is it really, can you even have an anomaly? I don't know. <laughs> so far, they've all been different. This one's definitely, like, the front part, the Karen part, is more Karen-y. It's Karen-y Karen part. Uh, like, if you're planning to just plop it on your head and wear it. You can definitely style this into, like, a little scene emo boy, like, moment, right? This little bit here, that's gotten all, like, wonky. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason it's doing that is it's meant to be on the other side and then frame your face. Um, I think I will straighten that. I actually might spend a little bit of time with this wig like on a wig head and like actually styling it for like a permanent style because this wig is like perfect for like a little scene boy cut. Like this is perfect. I might take a little bit of this density here and kind of do some just like choppy layers like that okay i could see this one working i was a little scared i was a little scared when we pulled it out i thought it was a little fluffy and then when i put it on i thought it was a little karen-y but i feel like after like four seconds of work on this wig uh we have we have ignited a little emo flame in my heart oh i'm gonna have fun styling this one <laughs> I can already tell. Okay, so my my thoughts on this one, I, oh, yes. Okay, so my thoughts on this one is that uh, don't be like discouraged when you open it and pull it out of the bag. It feel, I feel like it's pretty Karen-y. Karen-y. <laughs> the potential is there. The potential is strong. It's not only there, but it is strong. With the blonde and the purple, this is gonna be a fun one. I can already tell. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> All right, Samantha, which one do you wanna do next? You have to pick. Samantha said, this one. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? This has already been such a roller coaster. We have four Karen wigs and all four of them are different. Maybe the Karen uh, style on I'm style is like an umbrella term. It's like, oh, I love this color. <laughs> oh my God, I love this color so much. This is like a turquoise-y. Oh, oh, it's pretty, okay. And feels uh, like the blonde one as far as density. Hi, Yeti. Look at it. She just heard me like squealing. Um, okay. Oh my god, yay. Oh my god, yay. Oh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. And now, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If this fits me like the blonde one, we might have a new favorite. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gather yourself, Paletti. It is a beautiful turquoise. It has the darker roots, like this darker blue color, more closer to a navy with like turquoise on top. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I hope it's not too big. Okay. Okay. All right. Cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's try a little styling, shall we? <laughs> this one is definitely fluffier like the red one. It's a lot fuller in like this area and this like front, like all of this. Okay, she's way dead. <laughs> we're gonna add all of the wigs together that we have. <laughs> the cap size is the size of the blonde one. The density is the size of the red one. The length of the bangs here is, is like our little scene emo hair. She needs a haircut. <laughs> this to me feels like a completely different style from the Karen that we know and love. Like this doesn't even feel like it's in the same family as this, right? Like they're not they're not the same way. <laughs> kind of unfortunate because I love this combo. This dark blue, this turquoise, I love that. But this is just so much hair. <laughs> you know, maybe I would do a similar like brush that part. Like, okay, we are, we're making progress <laughs> here. This one I think is gonna require the most styling out of any of the ones that we have um, encountered so far. I, ooh. The roots are so nice. Like, this has potential. Oh God, though, look at that. <laughs> it has potential because it fits me comfortably. I really love the colors of it. I think I'm just gonna need to give it a haircut. It is um, too dense and too long for what I want out of this wig. Okay, what's the next one? <laughs> we have two left here. Let's go, let's go here. Um, we'll see what we have, please. Please, just please. <laughs> oh, I opened it upside down. <laughs> I dumped it out. It's different. It's invisible. The ghost wig. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Ooh! I do love this color. I love this color. I love this color. Okay, please. I am literally begging you. So let's find out if this green one is anything like its friends or if it is a completely new rendition that we have not yet seen. <laughs> this is a ride. Wow, this is not what I thought this video would be today. I thought we were just gonna pop them on. One, two, three, four layers of new colors. Boom, boom, boom. Short video. There's been things to say about all of these. Holy cow. Okay, this color is great too though. This green, it's like a... It's like a meadow. It has like a, a lighter, like softer green on top with a bit of a darker green for the roots and the base back here. Okay, so this one, the bangs are definitely longer on this wig than they are on our original blonde one. Um, they're kind of more like I would say the blonde one with the purple on it. They're It's more similar to that. Um, they're definitely longer, but they're not so overwhelming like they are on the blue one. This one feels more manageable to me. This one just feels like the blonde one has grown out a little bit. Needs a little bit of a haircut. Or you're introducing a very strong emo swoop phase. So strong. <laughs> so strong. Like, I don't feel- oh my god, those roots look so good. Even though this one is different than the blonde one, our original blonde Karen wig that just had my heart soaring. Even though it's different, I still like it. I just have to reframe my my mindset a little bit that these are not all the same wig. <laughs> because when I style this one like an emo hair, like a big emo swoop, yes, I am here for that. But if I'm going into it with the expectation that it's going to look like the blonde one, I might be disappointed. You know, does that make sense? I like it, but I like it as a different wig than my original Karen wig. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. This is cute. I like it. <laughs> All right, so we now have one final wig here of the Karen Umbrella series is what I am now going to call it. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, these are short wigs. We're gonna call all of these Karen even though they're all vastly different. Okay, so here is the last one. Ooh, this color, is this like a periwinkle? Is that a color? It's like a, 
it's like a slaty purple. It does have like some dark gray kind of roots and the back deck here is like a little bit grayish. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Don't you get my hopes up like this, Periwinkle. <laughs> this one looks like it might, it might, it might be the closest to our blonde. I'm like, mm, is it? Good. I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. It is, it's the same. I think it's the same. <laughs> look, babes, babes, look, 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 look. What are the odds that the last one out of all of these Karen wigs would be the match, our long lost match? What are the odds? <laughs> I guess our, our very official, um, <laughs> scientific selection process was was looking out for us so we could end on this high note yes we have our little e-boy hair is back in action babes it is uh like here if i flatten it all down pretty flat on my head here's this side give it a little <laughs> so happy <laughs> why i i i this is truly one of the most baffling wig reviews that I have ever done. I'm so excited. Yeah, I love her. She's like a, um, I actually don't even think I have any other wigs that is this color. Steely. It's like steely, bluey, purple, periwinkle. And then it goes to like gray underneath here and in the roots. Like, look, look at these roots. Look at the roots, look at the roots, look at the roots. I repeat, look at the roots. Okay, so if we, even that's cute. <laughs> okay, I am a happy little girl. Look at my hair. <laughs> this is by far my favorite of the new um, additions to the Karen collection. Is it even a collection? <laughs> I don't know, they're all so different. Oh my god, I'm so happy to end on this one. I do wish that there was some, um, like, differentiation markers about them. Like, that there was some way to know that, like, this one has a bigger cap. It's still in the hat. <laughs> or this one's very fluffy. Or that these two have long bangs, you know? I wish that there was a way to know that ahead of time. Because I feel like if I, like, for example, as a viewer saw my last I'm Style video where I tried on just the blonde one, it's the only one I had, and like raved about it, loved it so, 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 so much. And then like I went on their little website, whatever, whatever. But then I saw that perfect wig in my favorite color. I, as a consumer, would assume they are exactly the same style, just a different color, you know? They're not, <laughs> they're not. So I wish that was a little more clear on the website. You just wanna know what you're getting, you know? Hello from Editor Alexa, I'm just gonna cut in real quick here. They have since dropped the name Karen from this wig series. <laughs> Probably a wise move. It is now called the Short Synthetic Wig uh, series. I guess they're all called that. And the pictures do look slightly different if you know what you're looking for. Now that we know, like in, in retrospect and hindsight, I can see that the blue one is a little bit puffier in its picture than the like steely silvery purple one that looks a little bit more like our original, right? But you have to know going in here that you've got to look closely at these pictures. If you know what you're looking for, I feel like you can see it. But otherwise it's really tough because also all of these pages do have all of the exact same information for each one of these wigs. Six inches long, natural straight fluffy, 180% density, average to medium cap size. So we are just really banking on the product photos themselves armed with the information that we need to look closer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, these pictures weren't out when I filmed this video, <laughs> so, um, you know, take that information as you will, use it as you will, and, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. You just want to know what you're getting, and I feel like with the Karen collection, it is a gamble. <laughs> there is no way to know. These are all the heck over the place. <laughs> this is just a gamble. This is fully a gamble. I... 
I hope that anyone before they order from this collection watches this video. Okay, what a Samantha? <laughs> I hope you like roller coasters, Samantha, because this video was a freaking ride. Holy cow. This was, I, I want to say this is like one of the strangest wig reviews that we have ever done on the channel. I am left feeling a kind of like perplexed after this video, like a little slightly baffled, confused after this wig review. Why are they all different? <laughs> I feel like when you find like a winning recipe for a wig the blonde Karen okay why would you change it <laughs> and so many different times different ways to swap those colors out in production I don't actually know how to make wigs I don't know if it's that easy but that's what I would do <laughs> if I was a wig maker all right sweethearts I hope that this video was helpful for you I know that I feel enlightened after having stuck my hands in all of these wigs plopped them all on my head. I feel like I have learned so much today and that this video will be very valuable as a consumer and I hope that you've watched it. I guess you have if you're here and can hear me now. So thanks for watching. Oh, I guess also I do have a discount code. <laughs> thanks for watching. Also speaking of my massive wig collection, <laughs> I have been kind of listing on the side. I have been listing wigs on Poshmark. If you are interested in grabbing a secondhand wig, there's a lot to choose from over there. So I will link that in the description box too. Try to keep my wig collection like under control because she is not under control. <laughs> Spoiler alert, not under control. Okay, okay, oh my God. I. Wow, this video, I meant to keep it short. I'm sorry, there's just so much to see and so much to do. I didn't realize I had so much to say. I didn't realize this this collection was gonna be so many twists and turns. Just trying on different colors of the same wigs. It wasn't that, was it? It was not that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed taking a little pixie peek at the Karen Umbrella collection from <laughs> I'm Style Wigs. I hope this was helpful. Um, and if you saw something you like, they, these will all be linked in the description box. If you're looking for this wigs in particular because it's freaking amazing, or if you're looking for some good scene hair, or if you love the Karen but the small cap just doesn't work for you, you have our little autumn pumpkin boy. So there are options in here for everyone who likes short hair. So I will throw those links in the description box. You know where to find them. Um, Samantha, thank you for being our featured patron. You're an angel. I love all of you so very much. And I hope you have a perfect, perfect day. Bye, sweethearts. Goodbye, my best friends. I love you so much. Okay, bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.